Hey, my name is Jack Gardner, and I'm originally from Liverpool in England, now living in Switzerland. Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to play guitar. I think my parents have a ton of pictures and homemade videos of me when I must have been like two, three years old, um, stood in front of a TV with a plastic guitar trying to copy what Jimi Hendrix would do or, you know, bands like The Grateful Dead, which my dad loved. Um, I'd stand there and just try and pretend that I was playing along, you know. Um, there's even pictures, I think, of me passed out on a couch with a bottle of milk next to me and then the plastic toy guitar on the side. But I, I have one memory that really sticks out about wanting to, to actually play guitar. And that was when I must have been about eight or nine, my dad had a, I think it was a Frank Zappa DVD um, or a Zappa Plays Zappa DVD with Steve Vai on it. And I remember being sat in the living room and I heard Steve Vai solo and I stopped whatever it was I was doing and I said to my dad, I want to play guitar like that. But it wasn't until a few years later that my auntie actually bought me a classical guitar, I think it was at first. For some reason, my dad didn't want me going into music, even though he was a bass player himself. Um, I think he wanted to wait until I was a little bit older. But yeah, so I guess that must be now oof, 14 years ago or something like this, maybe 15 years. And it's been a long journey since then. My first riff when I started learning guitar, I don't think it was a riff, it was actually a solo. It was the solo to All Right Now by Free. And I think it's one of those weird things. I remember my dad kind of transcribing it onto guitar, even though he was a bass player, to show me what it was. Um, and like the vibrato and like the bends and all those kind of things stuck with me. And um, so it wasn't really a riff in that sense. I think the first riff that I will have probably learned was Enter Summer by Metallica. And that is still a tune. My first performance will probably have been very soon after I started to learn guitar, actually. I started to play with like a kids band, so we were all around the same age, between like the ages of nine to 11, and my little brother was actually in that playing drums at the time. Um, yeah, we used to play like Pantera, Metallica, Nirvana, all the kind of stuff that was popular at the time. Uh, and I remember like that feeling, it gave me the bug then, you know, I always wanted to play that. And still to this day, it's probably one of the biggest things that I enjoy is gigging. After all these years later, and maybe thousands of gigs later, whether that be covers gigs, session stuff, um, yeah, I just love the feeling of playing live. I guess my advice to guitar players out there is to never forget why you fell in love with the instrument. You know, I've been playing now for, what, maybe 15, 16 years, and I always go back to the likes of like Steve Vai making those crazy sounds that just blew my <laughs> prepubescent teenage mind, shall we say. Um, it's one of those things I, I, I will never forget the feeling that I got when I first listened to that. Now, as I've got like a little bit older, I kind of think to myself that guitar, it's one of those things, the more I find that I know about the instrument, the more I realize I don't know. And that's the beauty of it. It's this never ending journey. It's not like a video game in the sense that, you know, you can get achievements and then you complete it and you get that platinum trophy. No, it's like you realize that it's just an epic journey and you discover new things about it every day. That's what I love and it inspires me to pick it up as much as I can. So if you're feeling like uninspired or you know, like you wanna kind of, what do I do? How do I get out of this rut? I always say, go back to what it was that made you really inspired to pick up the instruments in the first place. My name is Jack Gardner. I play the Ibanez AZ series and the Q series. Till next time, cheers. Thank you.